lastly, just to bring up really quickly, um, yep. this one really shocked me. So director Sam Mendes, he's oh, going to be doing four yeah. biopics yes. about the Beatles. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so <laughs> each one. Each person is getting their each, own biopic. Yeah. So each one oh. is going to be in the perspective of that person which it's interesting but it's also like why yeah. who <laughs> asked for well, four biopics i think the only reason why you're getting that is because all of them not not only were they a very iconic band they were very different people and they all respect for the most part minus ringo although he did have his own album which was just anyways we're not gonna talk about that but like they all um <laughs> had like their own single success very thoroughly right and when they yeah. broke up, it was like it's not like oh you they broke up and they flaked off. They still rose and above. Mm -hmm. But that only like, applies if the biopics pick up after the breakup. Because if the biopics are going to be the four perspectives leading up to them forming or them at the same time from different perspectives, like if you're going to show me scenes in each movie from the different angle of each different person where they got together, I'd be mad. But you'd be not, able, you'd be able to not do that the breakup four, though. Sorry? You could do that at the break. Like, example, having, like, let's sure. say Paul that, McCartney's, like, I'm upset about George but, because of blah, blah, blah. And then no you have John problem. being, like, I'm upset. Like, if you could do but that, he, maybe. That's how each movie starts, where it's all four of them in a room, and each movie is them leaving the room, and it starts the separate movie. Sold. But I'm telling you now, if I go and the movies start earlier than that, I'm going to be mad because I don't need to watch the the beatles story of them being together right before the breakup is like the fucking batman's parents being killed of the real world <laughs> no. oh you, you see that's why i'm like you no know, you know what it should be it should be ringo doing the intro to when the band was being made because he was always the happy one john during uh, sorry george during john at the end and paul mccartney could be like a sweep over the whole thing sorry jaws go i don't know I was going to say, first, you will not besperch the name of Mr. Conductor. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Mr. Conductor. <laughs> Nicest dude out of the whole, all the band members. That How dare great. you? Ringo Starr was respect on that. Ringo Starr's name. Tiny Time uh, Station, right? That's it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And yeah, I do agree with you, uh, Doc, that um, you just have to watch the, the episode, the B-Sharps from The Simpsons, and you'll get the gist of yes, the sure. Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> very true it's not it's not a lie whatsoever <laughs> and then surprisingly i think the yeah all surviving members of the beatles were on uh on the simpsons yeah yeah they've yeah i think oh, they've all yeah. been on it yeah, all, all right John. it's it's definitely gonna sell but it's either gonna be bad <laughs> like really bad or yeah. really good so we'll see how